Ladies and gents, welcome to the Gaming Apocalypse. I'm Wraith, and this is Firewatch. Before we jump into it, two quick reminders for you. First, if you're not already, please hit that subscribe button down below. Use the notification bell, that way you know when I'm uploading new videos. Secondly, reminder that you are an awesome person. So, keep being awesome to others, okay? Alright, let's jump in and figure out what's going on in Firewatch. All right, so we need to go out and figure out what happened to the phone lines. Oh, okay, that's not what I wanted. I guess I automatically put my pack on when I go out the door. Yes, I do. Cool. Do, 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 do. I guess I'm not gonna like board up the window, fix up the tower a little bit, do anything like that, huh? Oh, no. Okay, so... Doo -doo -doo. Handy, handy compass and my map. So I'm down here. So I need to follow that pathway back. And are those the dotted lines? Yes. So dotted line is telephone line. Also, I'll be going up there near to cache 302, it looks like. Okay, well, that's cool. I guess we'll see some stuff along the way. Good deal. So this is path right over here. This leads to Jonesy Lake. Oh, wait. Pathway to Jonesy Lake is not what I want. I'm going the wrong way already. Huh. Cistern. Okay. That makes sense. Easy way to get drinking water, I guess. Yeah. Ooh, that wind last night actually tore up some trees near my tower. I know, right? Ugh, it's out of this world. Now, imagine we had a big fire burning. Yeah. Jesus. It's something else. I've seen a still evening kick up 45 mile an hour winds in no time. If that happens this summer, you'll really be in for it. Joy. I can't wait. Oh, other way. It's up towards the outhouse. I probably should have turned that off. Conserve fuel, but oh well. Thoroughfare, fire lookout, and bear tooth point. So wait, can I see her tower? I can see her tower. Can you see the communication wires from where you are? I can see the poles, but I have no idea if the wire is in good shape or not. They run a good distance up to a spot called Beartooth Point. And you just need to walk along them all the way up there and make sure everything's in ship shape. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I might be able to see it from over here. Yeah. You wake up pretty early then, huh? As soon as the sun comes up. Forest Service really frowns on us putting up curtains for some reason. I just covered my head with my pillow. Seems to do the trick. Wow. The forest could never burn down on your watch. No. I wouldn't let it burn down. We like it too much. So wait, so that's where that creepy guy was standing at last night, right? The one that was just kind of watching... Yeah. So what was he doing? Because there's nothing up here and there's no campsite that I went past. So what on earth was he doing? And this should just be where it, the path kind of forks between two... E yeah, okay. Just whether or not you want to take the switchbacks or go the direct route. Not a big deal. We'll take the uh, more direct route, I guess. 
ash or soot or something right there. That's weird. Probably bring some boards out and fix that at some point in time. Just saying, I mean, it's a, it's a safety risk. You know? Go down all the switchbacks. Which, they kind of stink in-game, but in real life, it's amazing having switchbacks. Because trying to just do that going straight up sucks. It's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Uh, you know, uh, I, I don't know. Just used to spend a lot of time with our dog, Mayhem. Mayhem? What kind of name is that? He was a German Shepherd, big as a truck. So why not call him Chevy? Well, we, uh, we walked out of the shelter, and there was some graffiti on a trash can, and it said, Dicko Mayhem, and um, he walked over and peed all over it, and there you go. <laughs> That's a really cute story? It is what it is. Hey, can you hold on a sec? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Hey, oh. I don't think so. Why, have you? Okay, good. What? No, I don't think he has any idea. What? I'm absolutely sure. Would you? All right, I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, I, I thought about it, and that story is cute, and, um... Sorry, but but you said we? You you owned him with someone? Who was that? Who is who? I, I don't think he has any idea. What what was that? Were you talking about me? Uh what? You left your button pressed or something. Henry, that call was work. I was just talking to Actually, it's not really your business. Why are you freaking out? I'm not freaking out. Good. That was a very I'm gonna go quiet for a little bit. Call me if it's important. That's more than a little bit suspect, but okay, sure. Somebody breaking into my ca my tower, vandalizing the place, and then she wants to suddenly go silent after that weird call. Uh, two plus two is not adding up to four right now. That's all I'm saying. Okay, I see the telephone wire. So it'll follow it around to the left. So far, the wire seems fine. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. Well, follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. Yep. So just follow in the wire. I don't think she needs like a poll by poll report on it or anything. All right, so it connects over to that one. Yeah, that all looks fine. There's something over here. What's this? Uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once. I think. Whoa. Uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but you know. Use abandoned shitters at your own peril. I mean, uh, I'm in the right area? Yeah, the wire runs quite a ways north. Just follow it up to the point that I mentioned. What's up with this? Read. Ol' Shoshone, Winthrop Carter, Hawk's Rest. Refrain. I'm headed off to Ol' Shoshone, where the birds and the bees won't know me, where men in the war don't exist no more, and there ain't no gals to keep no score. 
I'm taking off for the woods to a place where there ain't no shoulds. Don't need no books, I'll ponder the ponderosas. Don't need no lady, I'll marry the mariposas. The heck is a mariposa? I can't waste no time in getting there. I'll do 80 down 80 without a prayer. Don't need no gal, I'll spruce up for the spruces. Don't need no pal, I'll change my mood for the mooses. Which still raises the question, what is the actual plural of moose? Anyways, if you're wondering where's my ass been, it's been cavorting with the aspens. Don't need no grass, I'll get altered among the alders. Don't need no mass, I'll grovel before the boulders. I'm headed off to old Shoshone, where the elk and the owls won't know me, where there ain't no judges to whom I got a plea, because I can be me in old Shoshone. Okay. Um. I found an old notepad of, uh, I guess, songs. Someone was writing a song called Old Shoshone. Old Shoshone, where the sky is blue and the teens are new. It's, uh, yeah, it's just like that, except about ten times more depressing. I'd say it, it wasn't nearly as much fun as that, but, you know. So wait, can I go over this way? Mm, sort of, but not really. Okay. Wait, we can, however, get a glimpse. Hello. Well, that's our break point right there. Crap. That means somebody actually did do something to the phone line. That's not good. Because, of course, this is not modern era. This is, like, late 80s. So, cell phones technically existed, but they were the old, like, here's a small briefcase to carry around with you by a strap, and you're only going to have reception inside of a major city. And even that's going to be kind of sketchy. And that's our cache right over there, if I'm not badly mistaken. So I think what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and hit the cache first. And then head around and try to figure out what's going on with that broken line. I mean, not that I'm probably going to be able to do much about it, because, you know, it's a broken telephone line. Well, maybe I'm going to go up there, maybe I'm not. Yeah, here we go. Pathway that goes up and around. <laughs> do, 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 do. Let's enter our super, super secure combination of one, two, three, four. Kind of thing an idiot uses for their luggage. Yeah, let's go ahead and copy the map info. Map info is always useful. And then, keeps putting pine cones in there. Uh, there's a board. I don't feel like that's too much use. Six feet down under. By Richard Sturgeon. Detective Neil Black told himself he'd never visit Australia. But when a grisly murder in South City leads all the way to Sydney, Black is determined to make the killer say good day to justice. Critics rave over crime by the numbers. Neil Black makes Sam Spade look like Mickey Mouse. Living in a golden age of crime fiction and... I'm guessing Richard Sturgeon is King Midas. Crime by the numbers is if is as if Tolstoy wrote the something store novels of my youth. I'm guessing that's Dime Store. There may not be a better depictor of drama in our lifetime. Hmm. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to leave it there. And then what does it say? Uh, July 30th of 86. Dave, hey -o. I got your note about needing to talk. Sorry I didn't track you down. Been looking for you all day. Figured you'd be out near Canyon helping those grad students, but I guess not. I can't even know now. No. I don't even know now. 
I could really help anyway. How I could really help anyway. We're co-workers, you know. Amigos professionals. If you need somebody to throw back a case with and go time traveling, Ron's your guy. But I'm not great with the life stuff. You get it. Later on, Ron. Okay. Interesting. Hopefully that guy didn't actually need something. Alright, and then from here, can I circle around to get up there to it? Like, coming over this way? N no. Okie doke. Going back around the long way. Do to do. Do our nice little jogging run. And to be fair, he was complaining about being cold earlier and getting a good brisk movement pace. That does actually help warm you up. Typically when you go hiking, you that's kind of how you want to be anyways. It's like while you're standing still, you're kind of cool. Not not freezing cold, but kind of cool. And then as you're moving, your body will warm up naturally. Oh, great. Somebody else has been out here drinking? Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before? Yep. These fucking kids. How could these girls be so stupid? <sighs> Trust me, I never underestimate the stupidity of a drunk teenager. Also, I never underestimate the balls of a drunk young woman, having been one. Fair enough. Well, I hopped down a drop and now I can't climb back up. Mm, that is a pickle. I can just keep hiking, but I figured I should let you know in case I get myself trapped out here. How adventurous of you. I've been doing a lot more climbing out here than I expected. Well, keep your radio charged. I'd hate to one day find a skeleton with an orange backpack at the bottom of a ravine. I know you think you're making a joke and all, but that kind of thing does happen. Well, I don't know about the orange backpack, but the other parts, you know, that does happen. Okay, we got more beer cans. Great. So the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. That's actually good to hear. I can send someone out to fix it. Good find. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. <sighs> These idiots are going to pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Mm. Ooh. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm. I don't know. Um... Wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am gonna need a raise. <sighs> Don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Well, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. So they left a message on a pair of underwear. Go to hell. Classy. Though to be fair, that's actually not a terrible drawing. I mean, it's not high art, but it is something. Clean up their freaking trash. How many beers did they drink, though? Like, Jesus, were they just, like, chugging the whole way down?
Let's see another one right there. I mean, were they just like downing a beer every five steps? You know, good on them if they were, but at the same time, holy crap. It didn't seem like they were all that big, so they must have been completely wasted. Or this is one of those, you know, NASCAR beers that's like 0.03% ABV or something. Uh, which way seems more likely that they would have gone? I'm going to dart through here really fast just to see if I see another can. Oh, block trail. And I don't have the option to clear it, so I guess I have to get a tool of some kind, like an axe or a saw. Okay, fair enough. I guess that answers my question about which way did they go. Long drop down. I guess I'm supposed to tell you all this climbing and jumping, it's pretty invigorating. Just wait for the rest of the summer when you'll be sitting on your fat ass fourteen hours a day. Hmm. Is there anything along over here? I'm going to guess it's the same code as the others. Okay, nothing in there. Fair enough. I guess we have not been given any supplies. Which makes sense. I mean, I've only been there for, like, what, two days? I shouldn't need supplies yet. So she said to go back towards Jonesy Lake. And maybe I'll be able to spot them there. See anything? I gotta say it, the game is gorgeous though. What was that across? Um bit of climbing rope there and a pack. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. Ooh, I got a camera. Well, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's, there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up i think oh get this this uh pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras with pictures left yeah he only used three or four neato thank you brian goodwin wait wait who the bag had the name brian goodwin sewn into the top huh. wow. do 
you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. Was he a ranger or something? Oh, no, no. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Hmm. Great kid. You can bring children out here? No. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Why? Where did they go? I don't know. I never really hit it off with old Ned. And, um, one day they were just gone. Sucks. Anyway, so it goes. Have, uh, fun with that camera. Um, Try not to snap anything that would scar a photodome employee. I don't know. I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? So we just found his pack underneath where there's a dangling bit of rope at. I'm going to go ahead and take a picture of that just in case I need it for later on. But... So he just misplaced his stuff out there and just left it. And didn't think to try to get it back before they left or anything. Something doesn't sound right. I feel like y'all might want to investigate a little more into that. But what do I know? All right. So we're just going to use all the ropes. Wait, did I say thin columns of smoke? Yes, yes it does, because that's a thin column of smoke. I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? You, you think it's them? <sighs> I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. Okay. Do, 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 do. This should have another section of map in it. Yes, yes it does. That's the main reason I'm doing this, is just for the maps. The map info. Oh, we got another one here. What does this say? This is from middle of June, 1986. Dave, guess who's going out with Debbie next week? No, not that shit heal Steve. It's your man, Ron. Went up to check on the new guy at Two Forks. Heard him talking to himself more than usual for lookouts. Like, I'm assuming that's what LOs mean. So I figured I'd stay away. Remember when you saw Chimney Rock having himself in that hammock? I'm starting to think the Forest Service only picks the deranged and perverted. Except for us, of course, we're the creme de la creme. Let's toast to Deb at the spot, Ron. Okay, well, good luck, Ron. Is that a fossilized uh, claw? Someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Could be the same person who left that antler. Well, maybe they're leaving me an entire creature piece by piece. Yeah, those are definitely not always useful. All right. Well, it appears we have ourselves a mystery to solve. And of course, that mystery is none other than what's up with the burning the little thin column of smoke? Is it a campfire? Is it a forest fire just getting started? Or is it just these drunken idiot teenagers trying to tear stuff up? I don't know. 
but I imagine we'll find that out next time, won't we? If you want to make sure that you don't miss out on the next episode, well, hit that subscribe button down below and ring the bell. That way, you know when I'm uploading. You'll also know when I'm uploading videos from other series that I do. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and help keep the YouTube overlords happy. Until next time, thanks very much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Remember that life does get rough sometimes, so good luck, have fun, stay awesome. And I'll catch you in the next one.